Good afternoon everyone, Aaron here from the Whirly Bugger Pro Shop. Uh, the fly that I'm going to be showing you how to tie is the X Caddis. Uh, this is the time of the year when uh, we start seeing some caddis, so great pattern to have in your box. Usually tie this in two different sizes, usually 14, 16, and then you know a few different colors, olive, black, green, tan, sometimes even a rusty uh, orange. But it's a great, great pattern to have in your box, and if you have it, you'll certainly be able to utilize it. Okay, we're going to start this fly, size 14, dry fly hook, 14 knot thread. We'll start behind the eye. Go all the way back to the point of the hook. Stop there. First material going in is is what we call Z yarn, or which is kind of imitating a insect emerging. Tie that in good so none of it's sticking up here. <clears throat> Next material we're going to tie in is a fine piece of copper wire. Start behind the eye, go all the way back to where you tie it in your Z yarn or your Z lawn. feather here. This one's grizzly. <clears throat> Just a couple different ways. Dubbing's an option. Also, Antron is another good, good body material for this fly. I kind of like the dubbing because you keep it really sparse. Usually tie this fly in a couple, couple of sizes, size 14, 16, and I usually tie gray, black, olive, and tan. Those are kind of the, the three colors that I, I use primarily, so. Take this hackle feather, tie it, wrap it up to behind the eye, tie it in good, cut her off. Piece of wire, we're going to wrap through it. <laughs> Next thing we're putting in is some deer hair. This pattern's traditionally tied without, but I kind of prefer deer hair. Ties in better. I think it might be just a touch more durable as well. <clears throat> So we want this wing to be about half of the half of the body size, so halfway down the hook. A couple loose wraps, start cinching it up good. We'll kind of take all these butt ends, get them all gathered up here and tie underneath. <clears throat> I'm going to whip 
finish. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to pull all these back down a little bit here. Just going to kind of angle our scissors in here flat. Clip these off. There you have it, X Caddis.